Very good morning, all. Thanks for joining. So today, I'm going to take care of uh, Act 2 directory and uh, DMS concept. So especially, so if you want to learn Act 2 directory and DMS concept, so first you need to understand, okay, the Windows operating system types, okay. Windows operating system types you need to understand. Okay, suppose there are two types of operating system will be there in Windows. In Windows, there are two types of operating system will be available. Windows OS. This is Windows OS. There are two types of operating system will be available one is one is server os and another one is desktop os one is a server os another one is a desktop os so what is it main differences is okay main differences is example there is a list of users are there. There is a list of uh, users are there. Huh? There is a list of users are there. So they can connect to the servers. They can connect to the servers. That means every user can connect to the a single server. So that means a group of users can connect to the server operating system they can utilize it at a time a single time okay or multiple times at a time multiple users can connect to the server operating system but desktop operating system only one user can connect only one users we can connect so here here users so here only single user single user only they can connect perfect so what is the example for server operating system and what is the example for desktop operating system so from the windows operating system side what is a desktop operating system and what is a server operating system Example Windows 2008, 2008 R2, okay, uh, 2012, 2012 R2, 2016, 2018. Okay? So these are the operating systems are best example for best example for server operating system so what is the best example for okay what is the best example for a desktop os is windows xp vista windows 7 windows 8 windows 10 windows 11 okay mostly these are the operating system you have already okay you have already you have seen in your in your past life understand example in your system definitely either windows 8 windows 10 and windows 11 only this operating system will be there and server operating system definitely you'll not be using because of you're not running a company you're not running a services or maybe you are not a maintaining the data center personally okay personally i'm talking so mostly nowadays windows 8 also very old and windows 10 also but few few of them are using including me 
I'm using Windows 10 and uh, even few people are using Windows 11. Well and good. So do you have any other question here? The difference between the Windows Server OS and Desktop OS? I need a quick answer. Okay, don't be on silent. I have more encouragement when you're giving and questions when you are giving and responding the classes. Okay, at least one person should be active. I don't know who will be. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, please. Okay, so if you're um, like, it is pretty much crystal clear that the servers for the lot of multiple user and the windows for the, um, like a single user right yeah. so that yeah. windows that windows we are we are talking about is there any possibility like when we create and i i i'm i'm not familiar with this that's the reason mm -hmm. i'm asking mm -hmm. this question that on product mm -hmm. but could not don't we see that the xp or xp or vista in some big companies like a uh, dell or like a micro center or that kind of big machines they use that excuse me you're asking um, this XP, Vista, these operating systems are using in a big co corporations like uh, uh, in the day to day life. That is your question. Yeah, so, so in the, in the, co excuse me. Let me just. Sorry about that. Um, mm -hmm. So, so like when they're like a big company, they are using this. Same very. Uh, like uh, operating system under the server of the no, windows no, no. first, first like where the company stay on the stay on the call stay on the call so first you have to work on the desktop os okay get your okay. answer make it clear then again go to that we have a lot of time we can discuss that but don't don't club together in the classes in the two questions maybe the trainer will be escape <laughs> <laughs> I don't want okay. to become escape the questions. I want to be clear for everyone. Okay. So please ask one question Thank in a you. short. Then you can ask multiple questions in a short and make them okay. answer, get the answer very clearly. Okay. You're paying your your valuable penny. Okay. And you have to give okay. them valuable for each penny from my set. So that's my request. I want to satisfy you. Please ask the question uh, step by step. Okay, like you're asking something related to XP Vista. First, you have to stay on the call and stay on this question. Okay. Then we'll go for a server OS. Okay. Okay. So yeah, let's first go every, with the desktop OS. For every employee. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, well, well, I'm an employee of like mm -hmm. a micro center. I am using the XP. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I am just I know how to use XP Vista, Win 7, Win 8, Win 10, or 11. So I know all of this. So mm -hmm. this is like my personal computer that I'm working. Mm -hmm. Okay. That part, I totally get here. I understand. That. But how does it mm -hmm. connect to the server? What is the relation between from these things to going to the out? How the other, my question is related to server. Okay. Mm -hmm. I know how to use the desktop OS, mm -hmm. but how the server is controlling the desktop OS. That is my question. Okay. Right. Definitely, I'll answer your question in next five to ten minutes. Okay, it's very, very long answer in a multiple scenarios. I need to explain. Okay, definitely, I'm going to uh, answer that. I'm going to explain the same concept next. Okay, right. So your Sorry, question I is very I clear. I hope I didn't bother you. Uh, so the question is very clear. You're asking, sir. I have a all. I'm already user. I'm working in some Dell, Samsung, Cisco, some company I'm working right now. The companies provided laptop to me like a Windows 10, Windows 11, Windows 8. Past 10 years I'm working here, maybe past few years I'm working in this company. Okay, I know very well about to use this system. Okay, right. So I don't know how this server OS, I never seen the console, I never connected. So what is the services? What are the options are available? I really don't know. If example, I'm an Android user. Okay. If I don't know iPhone, how it will be. So definitely have a curiosity to watch and you can get an experience how to use the iPhone. Definitely. Right. So I will explain today. I will explain today. Okay. Don't worry about that. The next question is, I want to give more put, uh, 
um, some other some other questions in the same thing so here the xp vista windows 7 windows 8 so these are the from old generation to newer generation so right now all the operating systems are currently we are not using so as per a current trend so right now in 2023 so windows 10 and windows 11 only we are using okay that you need to remember this point second point and xp vista windows 7 windows 8 all are end of life nowadays nobody using it and even microsoft also not providing any support and microsoft is not selling any license for this operating system are you clear yeah i'm clear i heard that, right. that windows Next, 10 is not even there selling yeah but windows 10 also not uh, providing the any licenses to any user so with yeah, microsoft like, is stopped right. providing licenses to the users for windows 10 now only windows 11 the latest operating system latest means not 2023 latest past few years we are using windows 11 so most of the companies right. are migrating from uh, windows 10 to windows 11 okay right so next question who will be using these systems normally who will be using this type of windows desktop operating system like windows 10 and windows 11 is normal home users okay home users so like uh, whoever working at home laptop desktop students okay housewives okay and uh, just uh, the planning to exploring the computer okay so everybody they used a desktop operating system so you know very well what things you can do <laughs> so that you know very well about that so normally what you'll do we can browsing the system like a browsing the system means like you can open the internet explorer mozilla firefox okay edge browser and we can browse some internet sites and you can do your job and second thing you can do some kind of uh, game development application development that is possible next uh, editing movie editings video editings okay so these all jobs are possible in the desktop operating system well and good well and good so basically this desktop operating systems are only we can install in the desktop based computers and the laptop based computers you know these two systems most we have seen in your home maybe yeah. nowadays I, everybody have a uh, using the laptops okay and desktops that you know very well about right. well ago. but the server operating systems are not installed on the laptops the server operating systems are not on the laptops so they will be used on the tower systems and the rack systems so that you need to address here very carefully so if you go to google if you go to google so tower servers okay tower servers this is a tower servers hmm? see guys this is a tower yeah, server in this server cost is 1,54,000. this server cost is 3,56,000. So this is the tower servers. So this type of tower servers, okay, like your desktop PC only, but a high graded one. So tower server means high graded material, high configuration of uh, CPU material, everything will be there. Okay, compare it to your normal system. So this type of system, they'll be installing it. Okay, but these systems are never, never uh, placed in the workstation yet. So do you know what is meaning of workstation area? Okay. So basically, basically I'll tell you workstation means workstation pick in office workstation. See guys, this is the workstations. This is the workstation. Mostly you people are working in the company. This is the workstations where you, where you are sitting and you are working this place called workstation okay we call this workspace workstations so in this area we are not we are not placed 
the tower server. Right. Maybe you'll raise a question. Sir, it is not possible to place here? No. Practically, in real time environment, we are not placing. Even if you are keep the server and you have to put the power, the machine will on. But practically, real time, we are not installed here. Okay, because that will create some noise that required a need more cooling on the environment. So first it will be noise, it's generating the noise. And the second thing is need a cooling system. And uh, they need a uh, multiple power cords, two power cords we need to provide, two, two, four network cables we need to provide. So it is not uh, practically possible in the single workstation. So basically in the single workstation, in, in the example, I'm sitting in this, in this area so they have provided maximum three power sockets one power socket for monitor one power socket for a desktop another pocket uh, another uh, socket for maybe your mobile charging etc maximum three sockets they'll be providing hardly in each workstation and only one network cable they provided to connect your system mostly you will be connecting wi-fi some people if you need a more uh, uh, maybe any kind of lagging so they'll put uh, internet cable to the system. Only one port will be available. So that's why practically in this workstation area, we should not keep that one. So another one where we will be placing data center. Data center will be look like this is a way. The data center will be look like this is a way. See, this type of data centers. Mm. So this type of data centers, so this type of data centers, they will be maintained in the company. Depends on the company budget, company uh, portfolio. So they will be maintained this type of data center. So in the data center, almost a, a very uh, cooling um, temperature they'll maintain. And each, uh, each uh, place to place a server rack, Minimum four network cables we can use. Four network cables we can use to connect the server for more uh, connectivity handling. The internet connections in and out or intranet connection in and out. Okay, two power cords we can providing the supply and it maintaining the uh, the power capacity. Okay, tonnage and uh, electrical uh, voltage. Okay, so they'll maintain. Okay, so very high level. So, and uh, UPS, UPS they'll maintain continuously providing the powers to the systems. So these are the locations where you have seen in your company to place your servers. Okay, so you understand, right? Server operating systems will be only maintained in the data centers and these are the data center look like. Okay, what type of uh, systems they'll be maintained? Tower servers and uh, rack servers. So these two servers right. only they'll maintain in the data center. This is called rack server. Even rack server also very high cost. Rack server also very high cost and depends on the brand and configuration. Depends on the brand and the configuration. So I hope everyone you are enjoyed. You understand the concept. Next, okay, next. So probably I'm uh, today I'm out of station. Okay, I'm not at Hyderabad. So when I'm reaching Hyderabad next week, I'll show you a small, um, small introduction. How the server look like? One one rack server we will take. Okay, and I'll open the top panel. Okay, and what are the components inside? and uh, so how you can remove the parts few parts and what are the motherboard look like what are the processor look like and what is the front view what is the back view and how you need to connect so probably next week after tuesday uh, i'll take one video call i'll come to the video call okay i'll come to the video call so i will explain right so because of I need a camera set up, everything is needed. Okay, some somebody's assistance is needed. So probably next week I'll take one session, how to set up the data center networking 
and all the setup i'll try to explain in one hour okay so right now it is not possible you can see this this is a sour okay well and good the next question is the next question is these servers are installed with a server operating system so what is the use what is the use first of all this server will give the more performance why we are buying a bmw car even nano car also is available from tata brand we can buy right why why performance the speed performance. agility right everything is there. Hmm? so we cannot run some uh, high configured applications multi user applications on the desktop computers and laptop computers so those type of applications we will be installing on this type of systems example scenario there is a scenario so example there is a company name called there is a company name called flipkart so what is the nature of business e-commerce right selling products online what type of products all type i think uh, groceries uh, kitchen items huh? electrical items hmm? electronic items so clothes all the products they'll be selling online flipkart.com guys how basically this flipkart.com we are connecting through through the through the internet internet and internet so in internet there are multiple services are there we have a different different uh, services are there. example i'm user i'm trying to connect internet to looking for flipcard.com i'll be connecting this i'm not only myself there's a multiple customers multiple customers are connecting the multiple customers are connecting the multiple customers are connecting this suppose if a desktop is installed like this maybe normally in your home so this type of desktop if they're using okay normally the system capacity is hardly we can run for 10 to 12 hours or maybe 24 hours continuously after that the system will become slow after that because the component of the servers are designed like that only per day this many hours we can use after that slowly performance will be down again we need to restart and we have to wait for shutdown for 10 minutes then again we need to power on so if you maintain that yes they'll give you but the server capacity the system capacity is very very small the system capacity is very very small so a number of people will get connecting to flipcard.com very less so normally thousands of people lakhs of people are getting connected to flipcard so this system is not uh, suitable for us so in this place so in this place we will be maintain a rack server will be maintain a a rack server will be maintain a rack server okay this type of rack server we are maintained here not only one servers the multiple servers we are maintained like this multiple servers they are maintained okay so in this particular system the operating system is installed the operating system is installed and this operating system is the this operating system is what 
what is this operating system which is is it uh, the one like a server windows 2000 or windows nt those kind of server exactly so you... this is the windows server operating system win server os so this server what will help to run this web services to run this web services on this particular computer maybe you'll raise a question so instead of a windows server operating system can we install windows 10 and 11 can make it as a web server no inbuilt in desktop operating system like windows 10 and windows 11 web services are not there so only windows server operating system is installed okay this is a physical environment this is a physical environment you understand whoever maintained the data center so this is one part and even even this particular flipkart company not only maintain the physical data center they are using cloud also they are using cloud guys i'm taking some examples to understand the concept in a better way suppose aws cloud this is aws cloud in ec2 in ec2 we are creating a virtual machines that is also possible that is also possible and we are installing the installing the web services on amazon cloud and we can redirecting the traffic to cloud environment so why people are moving to the cloud managing the data center is very difficult so if you're going to the cloud okay it will be a very easy to manage very easy to manage the services and how many years we are using the server okay only that much you can pay whatever you are not used you don't want to pay and how many hours you are running the services and you're utilizing the services only you can pay for that other than you don't want to pay any other questions here so these operating systems like a physical windows server operating system either virtual cloud server operating system they can handle multiple users connections because we are not only one person is connecting to flipkart.com so we are getting connected by multiple people we are getting connected by multiple people understand so And I want to explain more in detail information about this concept. So everybody, you understand this concept here, up to here. I need answer or yeah. maybe I need a question. I think I, I, I can ask you one question if you don't mind. Yes, please. That server we talk about, uh, EC2. So when we use an EC2, EC2 is just like in a cloud virtual server. It could be a smaller thing. We use uh, same kind of a small. I mean, it's already uploaded in a cloud in AWS. So you use some kind of Win server or Linux server for a small particle with this configured concept, this like concept, a two gigabyte to six gigabyte. This concept I am explaining only Windows. Okay, please ask only Windows related. Okay, Linux. Okay, separate so do okay. do AWS do AWS uses any Windows server like us uh, like as you say like Windows Server AOS? I don't know like does AWS has any Windows server something like that to make running the EC2? I think they should have definitely they should have, but I don't know the name of it. So mm -hmm. you can explain on this so something you know okay. Windows about EC2. 
so previously uh, i hope you are enjoyed uh, the class amazon ec2 linux virtual machine creation am i right you clearly understand yes i need your answer huh? you know yes, that yes 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 so for ec2 creation ec2 is a some space the data center some services name okay they are maintained the hypervisor here they are maintained hypervisors here in the data center that means that means this type of rack servers they will maintain in the data center amazon data center they installed a hypervisor here like a Zen or Nitro hypervisor. Hypervisor name is Nitro and Zen hypervisor. And we can create a virtual machine on the on the on the hypervisor. But the same environment you can create here. The same environment we can create here. Okay, but we need a hypervisor. We need a hypervisor. But Amazon is maintain the server. The whoever users using this particular services, the servers, they cannot give any control to maintain the hypervisor because, because, example, myself and uh, Indra, myself and Indra both are uh, managing the two companies. So Indra is maintain different company. Myself is different company. We are maintaining. So AWS is not dedicatedly providing single hypervisor to single person. It's a sharing concept, it's just like a hostel. <laughs> okay. PG, paying guest. So oh, okay. they're not providing separate hardware for me. So I need to adjust with the others to living in the building. Same way, when I'm creating the, my web server, the server will be created in the hypervisor. Maybe Indra is also creating one more server. It will be storing on the same hypervisor. Same hypervisor. What will happen? What will happen? So I think even maybe the same server the will be place will on be the same hypervisor. Same hypervisor. Okay. okay? Same uh, hypervisor. So suppose. Suppose I have already full knowledge about maintaining the hypervisor, about maintaining the hypervisor. So uh, Indra, unfortunately, he shut down the hypervisor. What will happen? All the VMs, all the servers will be running on the hypervisor will be down. Yes. So, okay, if he is have a own server, if he shut down, not a problem. But my server is also running right here. Huh? We are working on the collaborative manner in a share pooling concept. So how can I tell you that you will be destroying the will be destroying the huh? my VMs? Example, Ola, Uber. This is the car rental services are there. Okay, car rental services are there. You are booking your uh, some kind of uh, travel from one place to another place, from your home to some office. But you have booked the pool cab. Because of if you are individually hiring the cab, maybe it will be chargeable, high charges. That's why you are uh, asking for pool cab. Once you get into the car, and after that, maybe before or after, somebody also entering into this. Can you ask a, a driver to sit your place and you had to replace the driver place and you had to drive the car? Will other people will be allowing you to drive the car? No. no. Why? Their safety is very important, right? Because how they trust you, you, are a, you have a good driving skills. Ola is already verified you are a, a trusted driver you have a good driving skills. That's why Ola, sorry, Ola or maybe Uber will be provided. Um, your ID will be created on the Ola data center and uh, data services. And uh, Ola badging, 
and providing the customers for your business expansions yes yes or no same way if you want to do your business expansions they are they giving access to up to ec2 console managing the virtual machines not the hypervisor not the physical server are you clear so this way this way the structure is designed this is a way structure is designed but in the physical i am not clear on this part you're not clear on this part again i mean like a last 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 word you said like a, the last one if you can just repeat that one I'm just trying to understand it so myself and indra both are i just take an example two persons the, here is a n number of people okay so all i we both are traveling brother hasan we both are traveling okay so there is a one more driver is there i can take example ramya ramya is a driving the car okay so ramya she has a very good driving skills and she she bought a new car okay and she wants to survive her herself she put the car into a rental services in ola and i booked the car and you also booked the car both are entered into the we are both are in the same place but i don't know each other okay and ramya she is driving the car i am asking ramya can you please give me the car i will drive mm -hmm. whether she will give that a car to me i am a customer ramya no, will give the car to me why no because of she because don't she have trust certified ah no no yeah. uh, maybe okay. she don't know about me okay whether i have a good driving skills or not maybe she knows me okay actually ramya is a opposite house to myself okay we are neighbors mm -hmm. unfortunately sure. booked the car she knows she knows okay rajesh has a driving skills and we both are traveling then no problem ramya will give the car to me i can drive the car okay but amazon is a company have only one customer is there no so multiple customers are there thousands of so, like hasan also one more customer okay hasan also one more customer you are also get it you are already already in the car you already bought it now i'm taking the driving will you accepting that uh, drive the ride no why maybe if ramya she is doing mistakes she she did some accident no problem because that is a process if i did if i did then it will become a problem because my job is different and ramya job is different my role is different ramya's role is different understand very much understand thank you so much so now indra kavita hasan praveen ramya thousands of people are using amazon ec2 services amazon ec2 services they have a multiple hypervisors they are maintained in the data center like in mumbai hyderabad like that like we have a multiple cars multiple cars again come to the scenario comparison between the car and the server so car equal to hypervisor car one car equal to one hypervisor one car equal to one hypervisor so every hypervisor is managed by ec2 every every hypervisor is managed by ec2 service who is a owner of ec2 amazon web services amazon web services so now question is now question is so amazon ec2 is providing one of the car that is one of the ec2 providing permissions to me so now in this server 100 servers are created based on the capacity 100 servers are created now it's up and running so indra kavita hasan praveen ramya rajesh everybody they connected here everybody they connected here okay everybody they connected here so can i ask amazon is to give the full control of the server i created 20 servers praveen created 20 servers kavita created 20 servers so including me total six people everybody created 20 20 servers nearly 120 servers are created in single hypervisor suppose if the hypervisor i rebooted unfortunately what will happen 
All on twenty gone. All one twenty gone. All on so, twenty gone. You understand this concept? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. Everybody yeah, understand it's, this it's concept? Like, no, 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 no. I don't clear. want to more. Allah, no, no. Question: Who is the Prime Minister of India? I don't know. I don't know really. Modi, right? Modi. Ah, you can give only Modi. Don't give elaborated answer. He is a, a old man. He is a white beard. Don't explain it. Okay. Just only question answer. Question answer. Say yes or no. Yes or no. Then class will be very very clear. More interesting when after you are watching this record. Okay. Then next question is everybody understand this concept, right? My next question is suppose. This is a cloud infrastructure. This is a cloud infrastructure. This is a way managing it. Suppose Rajesh is a owner of Clipkart. Rajesh is a owner of Clipkart. So Rajesh created own data center to maintain the Flipkart services. Each rack server, I installed Windows server, Linux server. Based on my requirement, I installed the services. So one of the rack server I installed Windows services. I have installed my Flipkart.com web services on this system. And how? Why? Don't ask me. Okay. Understand the scenario. Please understand the scenario. Okay. Is a physical server. In the physical server directly, we have installed the Windows operating system. In the Windows operating system, web services are installed. The web services is a flipkart.com. The users are accessing. So now have a two scenarios. A flipkart company, they can use uh, they can use a own data center if you have. If they don't have, they can go to cloud services to managing the managing their applications and services. Now, in this context, any questions? No concept so clear to me. Right. So now, question is: If this hypervisor, if this hypervisor, sorry, this rack server, maybe if you install hypervisor, okay. Now, I'm removing this. Hmm? Suppose, let's understand. I have multiple rack servers at it. One of the rack server, I'll be showing the structure how it looks like. Hypervisor is installed and virtual machines are created. So here, Windows operating system is installed and the Flipkart website is running. So these are all VMs are running for Flipkart. So now these two environments are look like same, but here I have a full control. Here I have only only virtual machine level control is there. Only virtual machine control is there. Okay. So right now, I, I explained about the real-time infrastructure, how it looks like, how they are managing it. Now I'm going to operating system level, okay? Because of I need to talk the concept of operating system, not the Amazon Web Services, not the hardware. Okay? My concept is a strict to operating system. So come back to the operating system. So now can tell me. So server OS or desktop OS, which one is a comfortable or maybe uh, exact operating system to maintain the multiple users? Server, server OS, right? Server. 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 So now I'm going to create one Windows server operating system in Amazon EC2, in Amazon EC2 today. Okay, so these many days you guys are created Linux operating system and you did some projects and I explained it. Okay. With automation, with the manual method, how you need to do that concept explained. You please watch the previous recordings. Hmm? Now I'm moving to Windows Server Operating System. So here, Windows Server Operating System, I'm going to Amazon EC2. 
Amazon EC2. So here I'm going to create a launch a new instance. Basically in Amazon EC2, I can create a Windows operating system. I can create a Windows operating system. Only server, no desktop. No desktop. Only server operating system is possible. I'll show you. Today I'm going to create SGP Windows 6.30 AM one, one Windows machine I'm going to create. Okay, see here the Windows operating system is there. You can please select and now you can click the drop down list and you can see here only server OS, no desktop. Suppose if I'm selecting Windows 7, Windows 10, Windows 11, it will not work. Only, only server. So, uh, guys, small change I think uh, in this, not a 2018. 2019 and 2012, 2022, I think. 2022. These are the operating systems. Okay. The latest is 2022. So let's connect the 2022 operating system. So now I'm selecting the Amazon Mission Images 2022 base. Now, instance type is T2 Micro by default. Don't make any changes here. So create a new key pair for Windows operating system. ED key pair will not work only for Linux. This is only for Windows. And what is the name? SGP hyphen Windows hyphen 630 AM key pair. This is a name I'm giving it. So create a key pair. So mostly I'll be maintaining the desktop. Done. Next, go to network settings. Select existing security group. Select the default one and don't make any changes. By default for Windows operating system, 30 GB it will ask. Okay. Launch an instance. Now, same way, Linux operating system, Windows server operating system also creating it. So wait for, wait for two to three minutes, okay? The server will up, then we can connect and I'll show you how look like the server operating system. So today, I'll show you how to create a server operating system how to connect the server operating system and the basic settings, how to change and how to manage, I will explain. So you please practice today. In next further two classes, I will clearly explain about how server is maintained, how server is maintained in real-time environment. I'll explain, okay? I have a quick question about this, about the Windows server. Okay. Uh, it's it's in a comparison very crystal clear a small car i know that when i heard that um like the windows server are comparably more expensive than the linux server no i'm not commenting on well, that i'm not commenting on that i heard so, that because, i'm not i'm not sure that's that's because, because, because i'll tell you <laughs> windows is separate and the mac is separate windows is separate linux is separate but uh, as jobs are similarly right. we can do that interfaces are different okay don't go for comparison level uh probably okay. today we are strictly we can stick on to the windows server operating system let them first we have to drive this call okay next five to ten minutes okay once you complete okay. this class today you can go today and take a rest and you can practice and you can get some experience on this operating system tomorrow we will compare okay Day to day directly to comparing, no, no. that's not good actually. Huh? It was not about just comparing. It was like why people use Windows. Like it's just that's a what preference. I'm telling. That's or what I'm it's telling. Just like an issue. Okay. That's what I'm telling. First, you, today you have to experience it. Okay. You, okay. I, I'm a I'm a sales sales guy in a BMW car. Okay. 
you directly you are right. coming okay i'm 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 on the day one and the first minute i'm telling sir bmw is a super sir don't buy benz car benz car is waste no you'll never feel it maybe you already benz car owner okay you already experience on the benz car okay uh, whatever the information i'm telling you you'll not be experienced that because i'm a sales guy maybe if have already experienced previously in the benz showroom as a sales person if i drive the car if i know the pros and cons about the car again i rejoin maybe if you join in the bmw car showroom if i'm explaining that i can tell that maybe you already existing customer or maybe i don't know i can explain that sir bench car this features are there okay this car uh, this features are there okay so that's why you please buy this car only don't go for this i can tell that okay so first of all let me give you trial for at least a few kilometers then you can feel it okay then you make your point process. clear i will uh, and i'll make yourself very much clear i'll not ask about uh, the computers yeah tomorrow tomorrow <laughs> no, i will give you that because of you already yeah. created the linux mission previously amazon linux okay you already feel right. some experience and uh, almost one week you have good trial then please utilize this but again pros and cons will be there that's very very important i would not commenting right away linux is best or windows is best if i'm giving an answer right now i'm not a good trainer okay because my point i'll be telling maybe for everybody is not accepting my answer but in real time scenario the scenario will be uh, treated which operating system is good for this scenario which operating system is good for this scenario first we need to identify so that i will explain in the next classes okay no more questions today uh, wait for another 2 minutes okay and almost the server will be ready we will connect huh? now the server is ready the windows server is ready so come back to this concept see so this hour is we created so now this is you you need to connect this windows server but when you want to connect this server how you will be getting connected if it is a linux mission how you will be getting connected which tool you are used to connect linux mission ramya which is a tool you are used to connect linux operating system in previous class putty chain right putty right but now putty is not required to connect windows mission from windows system because of you already windows system so is there, there is an inbuilt tool there is an inbuilt tool you can go to start type mstsc go to start go to start directly in the search okay type ms tsc microsoft terminal service console and you will get a remote desktop connection icon you please open it okay this is one method or go to right click run ms tsc hit enter even this one you will get it so through windows remote desktop connection through windows remote desktop connection you can connect your windows machines remotely okay well and good but here the concept is who is managing the port groups in amazon who will be managing the port groups what is the service name called what is the feature name called security groups perfect go to security security groups edit inbound rule do you have any 
any remote desktop protocol is enabled? No. SSH is enabled, HTTP is enabled. Add rule, MSTSC, not working. Then you can type RDP, RDP, remote desktop protocol. This is the by default port number. You can connect from anywhere and you can save the rule. Now, Windows remote desktop protocol is enabled. Now, you can go back to the instances. Okay, go to details, copy the public IP address of the Windows machine and open the remote desktop connection and you can copy paste this IP address and click connect. When I click connect, it will ask a username and password. So by default, Windows username is after creating fresh operating system in Amazon EC2, username is administrator. Administrator. And password is don't know, right? So basically, password is available in the key pair. Password is available in the key pair on my desktop and uh, uh, key pass folder, Singapore. Sorry, one minute. So here. This one. So what we need to do, right click on the server, connect, go to RDP client, get password, upload private key file, the same name, under desktop, key pairs, and here there is an option called the key pair file, and open it and decrypt the password and copy the password. Go here and you can paste this and click OK. Click yes. Now you are successfully connecting the Windows Server computer from Amazon EC2. From Amazon EC2. So every time you need to select and you have to copy the IP password from the key pair, no, not required. You can change the you can change the password as per your company standards. You can change your passwords. So now we are successfully created server operating system. In the next session, how to modify this system? Okay, as a server. This is a server operating system now, but no services are installed. Okay, no services are installed. So basically, okay, this is a just a normal server operating system, just like a Windows 10 computer. Huh? This is just like a Windows 10 computer. Yes, sir. So you can see this console how it looks like. This is a Windows 10, Windows 11, the same look like system. So in the next session and how to make this system as a different different rules can be installed and we can use in real time environment i'll show you step by step step by step i'll show you okay and the next question is next question is when you're creating the windows server operating system only one or two servers you can create because the storage minimum is taking 30 gb of storage so as per our free trial, only 30 GB is available. So after your practice, you please shut down the server. Unnecessary, don't turn on. Huh? Because of your practicing Linux also, right, parallelly. So that's why don't create more than one server without my instructions. So today, you please create one Windows server every one without fail. So tomorrow's class, I'll show you how to change the password, how to disable the firewalls, and how to access the internet how to access the web pages and how to install the services okay in real time environment like a wipro cognizant ibm so how these server operating systems are using in real time environment a to z we will learn okay a to z we will learn so please continue this class for next two days that's very very important thank you much okay so i have another class in next 15 minutes okay i need to take a break and i need to continue by uh, eight o'clock with another session. So any questions related to this, please note down.
and tomorrow in first five to ten minutes we will discuss those questions and answers right thank you and don't forget to shut down and go to start go to start and shut down this but one important thing is sometimes your see your task bar will be look like both are same okay there is a chances to shut down your physical system also make sure you are to very clear okay and uh, this is a server operating system and the task bar what are the applications and you have to minimize and you have to cross verify then you have to check this then you have to go to start and power shut down it huh? that's very very clear so there's a chances you will be doing some mistakes to shut down your physical laptop there is a chances are there okay this is the best practice guidelines thank you all we'll see you tomorrow